Hey fellow Terrians, today I'm going to show you, in my opinion, the absolute best overpowered early game gnome farm, which actually translates into platinum coin farms. Okay, so um, in uh, one of my previous videos, uh, I did already a gnome farm, which was pretty efficient, but back then we had to uh, excavate a huge area of the of the map and it's tedious, it's painful and it was efficient in the end, but uh, it's time to optimize and improve and make it a lot more fun, efficient, quick and easy, alright? So this is a version 2.0 of that approach. So once you've uh, found your first living wood tree, uh, living tree, essentially you're looking for, uh, get to the top of it, right? So once you're at the top, start mining the very top until you discover the background, natural background living uh, wood walls okay like so so if you see a row of those don't remove them okay they're actually pretty efficient but for the for the sake of this video I'm gonna at first do uh, remove leaving just a single block all right I'm just gonna leave a single block of the background naturally happening background living uh, wood wall okay so everything else all right I'm gonna discard so I'm essentially going to remove these three trees. Why? Because I want to prevent monsters to spawn anywhere beneath. Okay, so our farm is actually going to be slightly above this, uh, um, to the side and above this uh, block, the wall, background wall. Okay, so we're going to remove, you can use bombs, you can use dynamite, just be careful not to destroy the, the one block we're actually, you know, uh, after here. Okay, so uh, you can use dynamite, it, it goes pretty fast. Essentially, once you have your demolitionist, you can do this within a few minutes. All right, it's, and it's a lot easier, a lot faster than, than you know, excavating the map beneath the tree roots, right? So that uh, was our first guide and that was tedious, right? That required some uh, decent effort, decent amount of effort. So now the trees are essentially removed you can rebuild them using the living ones right so living tree ones later on but for now for the sake of this experiment uh, just get up to the block right of, of background wall and place a single platform that's it this is your spawner by the way here you will have gnomes spawning gnomes and only gnomes okay well not true uh you will also have occasional you know squirrels and rabbits spawn there but see what we're doing we're making a gap so all the squirrels and rabbits would just drop down and immediately despawn so we don't want to create any additional npc spawns all right so what we want here is optimize right optimize the spawn rate of gnomes and gnomes only okay so for that purpose uh keep placing platforms right to the right well in this case until you see the leftmost torch until the torch reaches the edge of the screen basically if you zoom out fully that's it why because well that essentially tells you that uh, that's the right distance at which gnomes will be spawning. Okay, so at the moment I've blocked spawn rates completely, so I just don't want them to interfere with our building here. So, but let's build um, the, uh, I guess the uh, collector uh, area. Okay, so what we want to do is make a custom microbiome, jungle biome, obviously place a single uh, uh, jungle grass seed, and you need 140 mud blocks and you place them in a grid like so and while you're doing that you will see that uh, jungle grass is propagating and again you need 140 just to be sure that the biome is essentially um, uh, will be activated once all of these blocks are covered with jungle grass all right so why because well jungle gives us higher spawn rates also we place a candle can um, water candle obviously for higher spawn rates so now sleep in bed uh, to essentially wait until you get your jungle biome activated and then we will start farming okay see first gnome uh we have a few keeps keep, keep uh, forward in time until yes we got the jungle so guys we got the jungle and you see gnomes starting begin to spawn right so if you if you hold the jungle torch in your hand 
essentially that adds a little bit of luck uh, on the surface you can't just place those torches for luck you have to hold them in your hand exceptions would be the uh, the coral torch but we're in a jungle so we have to hold right so and using a battle potion we can further increase the rate of spawn spawning uh, gnomes right note here that well they're spawning but it's nothing crazy okay so you're still gonna get quite a few uh, in a short period of time several minutes probably you're gonna reach some around 50 or 100 even gnomes right so and that's nice that's nice that works right so it, you can definitely achieve a uh, good good rate here okay um, however this is not strictly speaking it's not optimal right so because we are looking last time in the previous video we reached uh, somewhere around 100 gnomes per five minutes so that's 20 gnomes per minute okay so that was pretty crazy right so because that translates to a lot of money and essentially to to show you how much money that translates to uh, we're gonna collect gnomes we just uh, just spawned here and we're gonna go sell them so basically keep in mind that now obviously it's going to be uh, the amount of money you make will depend on the happiness of your NPC so the happier is your NPC the higher would be the profit from selling gnomes right and so now all these gnomes turned into garden gnomes right all right the goal is to get 100 and then we go and sell them okay so and we'll see what happens if we sell those to the happiest NPC we we got so 100 gnomes instantly translate into 1.3 platinum guys so in pre in my previous video on uh, gnome farming we got f uh, 100 gnomes in five minutes so five minute mark you get uh, 1.3 platinum all right so uh, for the sake of the next experiment we're gonna go back to the beginning of the world but this time we did not remove the walls right so the row the entire row we left the whole row put platforms and see what happens okay so time one two three you see let's see the rate three gnomes four five okay keep going six keep going guys let's see what happens seven all right keep them coming eight eight gnomes nine ten ten gnomes in 20 seconds how you how do you like that all right let's see more we need more one two three okay so that's 13 gnomes in 30 in 30 seconds 14 okay so four 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 come on five keep rolling keep rolling let's see what happens so that's six seven eight nine ten so that's 20 one 22 so 22 gnomes in one minute okay so that's pretty brutal let's see again one two three four okay keep rolling five six seven eight nine ten oh my goodness 11 12 13 14 15 16 come on 17 18 19 20 1 2 but we are running out of space so we are already at 22 in the second minute all right so in three more or four one two three okay so we we got 22 gnomes in the first minute 25 gnomes in the second minute my god this is madness right so you can see that you can actually break 25 gnomes per minute with this approach f f pretty much fully fk except that you'll run out of of space here so of course you could use teleporters and wiring and actuators later on but that's post skeletron i can show you the setup it's uh, something like that i'm not going to go into detail here because that's again that's not early game anymore that's post skeletron and i don't personally like teleporters 
uh, they actually don't work well in servers and multiplayer because things get uh, desynced and screwed up but in any uh, for a single player you can actually fk forever and get so many gnomes using a treasure magnet or a hand of creation or anything like that but guys this is it we can actually approach when maximizing this farm you can approach within two minutes of getting essentially one platinum worth of gnomes per two minutes all right hope you like this video see you in the next one